Okay, let's get started. As a courtesy to your fellow media members, as well as the coaches and student athletes, please silence your cell phones. Please provide your name and media affiliation each time you ask a question during the press conference. We have a mic in the room, so please ensure you are using the mic each time you ask a question. If you are joining on Zoom, please use the raise hand function for questions. We will address questions in the room first and get to Zoom if time allows. Recording press conferences on cell phones or cameras is prohibited. Now let's open it up with a statement from Coach Taylor, followed by questions for the players. We will hold questions for the coach until the end. Uh, tough, tough game. I'm really, really proud of our team's fight um, to come back and take the lead. Being down as much as we were going into the halftime and into the third quarter, um, we've had a sense of resilience and fight all year long and really proud of, of how we handled ourselves and came back in the game. Um, obviously, Nebraska is a really, really good team. And when it came down to the end, they made more plays than we did. Um, but I don't want to lose sight of the step we made from year one to year two in our program. You're looking at a team who won two conference games last year, nine games total. And in year two, um, we're sitting here at the NCAA tournament, which is one of our goals um, for our program. And so I don't want how this game ended to overshadow the tremendous year that we had in year two of our program. Um, we have our team returning with the exception of um, very few. And so I'm really, really excited about the future of our program. Um, but again, hats off to Nebraska. They made more plays than we did. They were really good tonight. I mean, when the, we just didn't have enough time on the clock to, to, to win the game. Questions for the players? Morgan Weaver, KBTX. Um, AC, just a dominant game in itself, especially in the third quarter. Just what was working so well for you tonight? Um, I feel like in the first half, I wasn't really helping as much, and my shot wasn't falling. And in the third and fourth, and my team, my team trusted me, and they had to believe in me. And they just tell, they were telling me to keep shooting the ball, and I just had my confidence. You know, I just kept shooting and do whatever I do best, and it was just working. Just what does it say about the resilience of this team to be able to battle back and down to the very last second? Uh, I think it just goes back to Texas A&M. Um, Aggies never die. And so we showed that tonight, and I'm very proud of us. Unfortunately, we didn't get the win, but that's what we do. And then I know a lot of you guys are coming back, so what does it say about the future of this program that you're able to just get here in year two and possibilities are kind of endless in year three? Oh, we're in great hands with Joni Taylor. Um, you know, coach of the year two years ago or three years ago. I'm not sure. But, you know, she, she does what she needs to do. She's a great coach, and she's going to lead this program and do well for us. And then we do have a question on Zoom. So we'll um, get a question from Gabriella on Zoom. Lewis, the next. Aisha, can you speak to what playing at Texas a and has meant to you this year? Where okay, do you feel like you've developed your question? On and on? Gabriella, could you repeat your question? Okay. Type in the chat. Yeah, if you'd like to type Hello. it in the chat, we could ask it here. Aisha, can you hear me good? Can people hear me? Mm -hmm. okay. um, Aisha, can you speak to playing at Texas a and this year, what it's meant to you, um, and you know where you feel like you've grown as a player? Oh, it means a lot. Like Keke say, I know coming here, I was I'm, I was going to be in great hands, and you know just to be able to develop my game, being at the three position, and you know just keep you know adding on to my game and it's been a blessing i can't really complain and i'm just ready to work with johnny taylor and whatever she told me to do i'm just help to help and do whatever it takes to make text and them at the top are there any other questions for the players no thank you both for being here you guys are good to go to the locker room And 
questions for Coach Taylor? Okay. We have a question on Zoom from Ian. Um, Ian Curtis with the battalion um, obviously had that huge run second half, you know, came up a little bit short, but I guess what was the message to the team, you know, going into the fourth quarter, going into the second half that kind of that kind of sparked that? Well, if I'm hearing your question correctly, the, what is the message that we gave to our team going into the fourth quarter? Was that the question? Um, <clears throat> you know, our league prepares us really well for anything that we might see. There's been several times this year. We were up, we were down, um, a team makes a run, we make a run. And so the conversation during the timeout, anytime there's a dead ball, it's just we've been here before. We need to get a stop, we need to get a score. We need to get a stop, we need to get a score. And so because we play in such a difficult league, you're tested night in and night out and you're constantly put in time and score situations, you're constantly put in situations where you had a lead and you lost it, or you were down and had to try to fight your way back. And so I think our team was just really poised in that moment. We'd been there before, and we knew that we could make a run. We also trusted our defense and knew that we could get some stops. And we have another question on Zoom um, from Gabriella. Coach, um, I know you talk a lot about how this team is new to winning, but knowing this experience that you guys got this year, what are you looking forward to in future years, and where do you feel like this team can go? Uh, thank you. Hey, Gabriella, how are you? Um, I'm really excited about the future of Aggie women's basketball. We have the majority of our team returning. You know, last year it was learning how to play basketball, and this year it was learning how to win. And we did that well at times, and at times we did not. But the experience we gained this year um, in our wins and in our losses, being able to come to the tournament in year two, it just puts us in a really good position. That locker room is really hurting right now, and I, I feel for them. Um, but I would rather see them hurting and, and be motivated to come back better than for them not to, to have a, la a lack of empathy or lack of care. And so this is going to drive us. This is going to motivate us. It's going to give us some things to go work on in the off season because we've gotten a taste of it. Um, and this team's never been here before. They've never been to the tournament. Even, you know, KK, Sahar, and MJ, they were freshmen, and, and they had a different role as freshmen than they did this year um, on, on, on our team. And so... I think this is going to motivate us. And again, for us in year two, we're, we're moving in the right direction. What was your message to the team after the game? And do you think that they appreciate what they've been able to accomplish in this past year? My message after the game um, was how proud I was of their fight, um, how hard they fought, their resiliency, their toughness. Um, we talked about being able to put four quarters together and not play just a half of basketball. And that's our next step, um, is, is to play four quarters consistently all the time. Um, the last thing I said to them was the same thing I said in here. I certainly hope that this one game and how we feel right now doesn't overshadow the tremendous step that we took from year one to year two. With that being said, there is a standard and there is an expectation, and we're going to take some time off um, and let them rest their bodies and their minds, and then when it's time to get back to work, we're going to do that so that we can be in a better position next year to make a better run. And we have another question on Zoom from Gabriella. Coach, can you speak to Aisha tonight, um, the performance she put on and her ability to show up in these big moments, both tonight and in the last game, you know, massive. Yeah, you know, we talked a lot about um, obviously coming off of 32 against South Carolina in the tournament, like to let the game come to you. And I think that's where she's grown the most, Gabriella, is that she doesn't try to force the issue, um, whereas she did maybe early on when she first came to us because she was so used to having to do that. We've got people around her who can also score. And so I think her maturity and her growth has come not only in learning a new position. you got to remember, she's played the four. And so she's doing this, playing a new position but that she just lets the game come to her. You know, she rebounds it, she defends, um, she can shoot the three, she can, she can get to the rim. And so she now has a trust in her ability and her skill set where she doesn't have to feel like she has to go out and touch it every single time and force the issue. And when things open up for her, she takes what the defense gives her. Um, she's a great two-way player, um, and her time on the floor is just invaluable. She guards the best um, 
our the opponent's best player night in and night out, whether that's the guard or the forward. She rebounds the basketball, and she's someone who's just really, really fun to watch. And another question on Zoom from Gabriella. Sorry here, Coach, a couple of them. But um, India Rogers, it's her last game here, you know, in her college career. What has she meant to this program, and where have you seen her grow in Texas? We're so fortunate that Indy um, came to Texas A&M. She, she brought just a level of leadership um, from the point position that we did not have, and I think everybody on our team learned a lot from her. Um, I was extremely happy that she was able to play tonight, given that she, not even a month ago, had surgery. Um, and, and again, the way she rehabbed to get herself back, not only for the tournament, but for this moment, I'm glad she was able to be a part of it. Um, I hate we couldn't close it out for her. Um, didn't want to see it in this way for her. And I think her future is going to be really, really bright at the next level um, because she, again, is someone who has a high basketball IQ. She scores um, three layers of the basketball, and she's got a toughness to her that a lot of people don't have. I don't think the public realizes how much she went through to get herself back and to be able to play and, and do what she's done. Okay, thank you, Coach Taylor. Thank you. Hammond Communications will post a recording of this press conference in the NCAA Digital Media Hub at NCAA.